What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, and today we're going to be covering some Scarlet and Violet news that we got today at the end of the Pokemon World Championships. As you can see, we are covering Cyclozar, the new dragon normal Pokemon that has been introduced into Gen 9. So we're going to be covering that. It's competitive aspect, all the stuff that has been given according to the Pokemon site. So we're going to be covering those two things, and we're going to jump right into it. So let's get it. So we see Cyclozar is a mount Pokemon. It is dragon normal, and then we have the its height and weight, and then its ability is Shed Skin as of right now there is no hidden ability or second ability uh as to know because according to all the other pokemons they normally show the um abilities it gets or at least the two and maybe not hidden abilities but we only see shed skin which is fine it's cool shed skin is a pretty dope ability if i do say so myself especially in the competitive aspect where you have the potential to uh stave off burns poisons paralysis all that stuff all that stuff so we're cool, we don't have to worry about that. But as we get into it, there has been two speculations in regards to this mine. It, some people say it is the pre-evolution into Coridon or Maridon based on which game you pick. And then another is that it is a mine that is the present uh, legendary kind of like, cause both of the games, Coridon and Maridon represent past and the future. So this might be the present. So those have been speculations regarding this mon. But as we get into the description, it says a Pokemon that lives with humans. This Pokemon has lived in many households in the Paldea region since ancient times, has a mild disposition, and people riding cycles are, are a very common sight. So from that alone, I feel as if this is just a regular Mon that's just a lizard. It is The region is based off Spain and whatnot, so you know there's a lot of lizards and stuff and types of lizards. So I feel like this is just tribute to the plethora of lizards in Spain and whatnot. So... I don't think this has anything to do with the legendaries. I think, you know, design wise, it is very similar. And I could understand why it would be like a pre or something that would follow in the suit of how they did in Sun and Moon in regards to Nebi evolving into um, Lunala or Sogaleo based on your game. So I don't think that's the way they're going here. I think it's just a regular base mon that seems pretty dope. It has a similar d design, so I could see why, but I don't think that's the case. I could be wrong though. It's just speculation. That's all we got right now. So. Um, and then we see a body optimized for running Cyclozar can sprint at over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. So that can potentially be of note to its base stat of speed in the competitive meta because, uh, you know, it says 70 miles per hour. So maybe base 70, um, but with a human. So maybe without the human, it could be, yeah, I don't know, base 80 potentially. So, or it could just be faster. You have, we have no clue. I mean, this whole thing is, has a body optimized for running. And what I think of in that pose right there is like a Velociraptor. So I feel like it would be, maybe be a base hundred speed mon. I could be way wrong, but he, is, he should be a speedy boy. He should be very much a speedy boy. So I, I'd say maybe base 90, base 100, you never know. But it would be dope if it was base 90, base 100. I think that's a great speed tier um, to use and have this mon be usable. Um, so, and then we get into the really juicy part that has shaken the competitive, com competitive community as a whole, because it's just it's something we haven't seen before and it's a great ability in terms of momentum. So we see this new move, Shed Tail, which is, um, it creates a substitute for itself using its own HP before switching places with a Pokemon in waiting. So that is really cool in itself. So essentially, um, in the trailer, you saw Salazar, Cyclozar used its move and it lost 50% of its HP, um, as we can see, and then it switches out with a sub intact and then you go into a Mon that is just in your party chilling. So in the trailer, you see that there is a Cloister sitting in front of Salazar, but we get, we use Shed Tail, it switches out and then it brings in a Magnezone because as you can see, if it's a Cloister going against a Dragon, you would assume that it's going to click an Ice type move, Magnezone can eat those hits, hopefully keep the sub intact and then get momentum out of it and kill this Cloister or at least um, be behind a sub when an, another Mon comes in. So that's really, really, really dope. Um, but the only thing about it is that you can only use it potentially maybe twice, but depending on um, the HP stat, I think. Um, if you have it like a, a, at even, I assume you'd be able to use it twice, I think, if I have that math correct. Um, but you can only essentially maybe use it once or twice, um, depending on, especially if you give it a barrier or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, but it's, it's just dependent upon um, if we could, are gonna be able to use this in the competitive aspect because you know draft league and whatnot have all types of rules regarding like uh, baton passing and sub passing and uh, all that other stuff. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of use it'll be. I'm very excited to use this. I think it's gonna be great, especially going into draft league. It's gonna be like it's gonna be one of those mods you definitely want to try because it's just essentially it's baton pass and substitute all in one but at the cost of half HP rather than the 25% it takes to do a normal sub. So very interesting. I'm very hyped to see it. And then also 
eight seconds into the trailer, um, you get to see uh, Cyclozar like for a split second and it's using shift gear, so which is awesome, which shift gear, if you don't know already, it boosts your speed by two and then your attack by one. So if Cyclozar has a very good base attack stat, maybe in the 90s or even if, at minimum at 80, um, it's still going to be very useful, especially um, as like maybe like a cleaner or like a, a little tiny breaker that you can use. Um, but I could see people mostly using as a fast sub um, shed tail passer uh, using for momentum to get them in a very optimal position during a game. But it's going to be hard to tell, honestly, uh, what cycles are going to do as we do see it does get um, shed tail and shift gear. Um, if there's any other moves that you guys saw that I missed, make sure to leave them down below. But I'm pretty sure those are the only two moves we have seen it use. Um, according to the trailer so um if if return is back in the game that's gonna be huge for a dragon normal that's very very that's a very good type and we have seen it in something like drampo with hyper voice and draco meter that's very spammable stab in itself so i think if it does get does get access to at least a good strong a normal move even body slam could be helpful because you know spread paralysis and whatnot that's still going to be a bit spicy so i'm very excited to see how good this mom will perform in the competitive meta come uh november so I don't know. I don't know. I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when I post without further ado. I'm your boy Jay. I'm going to get about your hair and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.